What's up everybody, Nick Wright. Two weeks out exactly from this meet at the time that I'm making this video. By the time you're seeing it, I'll be closer to one week out. So we had a very successful peak week, or at least that's what I call it. You have to forgive me, I've been competitive in bodybuilding for like eight years, so uh, the terminology from my bodybuilding days still kind of sticks with me. In bodybuilding, the peak week is obviously the last week leading up to the show in which you literally peak your physique to look its best by the day you come on stage, Saturday usually. Um, in powerlifting, obviously this isn't the week before your meet. That's kind of just resting and making sure you're strong by the time you step on stage. What I would consider the peak week to be would probably be for me my third week out, the week we just wrapped up. Because that was the week in which I literally peaked all of my training to be at its highest, to be at its heaviest throughout this whole entire prep. Second week out, as in the week we're about to start right now, is going to be practicing all of my openers. And you guys will see a video on that very soon. Um, and then the week after that will be pretty much just resting up until the actual meet. So all the heavy stuff is done and out of the way, but this week was very successful. In case you guys missed the videos, check out the uh, Road to Strength series. It's every video that has RTS and it has the episode numbered along with it uh, in the title. So let's recap. I only train three days out of this week instead of my typical four. I train Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, giving me a good full day of recovery in between each workout because of how heavy we're going. Remember, recovering your central nervous system and keeping it rested is crucial when you're a natural powerlifter. It's a big difference from the guys that are on juice, especially when you're getting close to a meet. Anyway, 455 for two separate singles back to back, which is actually pretty good progress considering the last time I maxed out on squats, I only hit 460 pounds, and that was for a slow grinder rep, and that was actually weighing over 190 pounds. So now that I'm over 10 pounds lighter, I'm able to do just five pounds shy of my former max for two consecutive reps in a row back to back from one another. That's a pretty good strength increase right there. So my plan is to open up with 430 pounds. My second attempt will be with my current max of 465 pounds. Might as well add a little five on there. We're good for it now. And then from there, we're going to gauge how we feel. If it flew up, we'll do a 485. If it was slow, we might have to keep it around 470, 475. That 500 pound squat's not there yet, guys. I was aiming for it, but uh, not yet. The next training cycle after this meet may bring it out, but uh, you know, whatever. Aiming for the 500 pound squat only drove me to bring the best out of my squat performance this whole prep. So, you know what they say, aim for the stars, the worst that happens is you land on the moon. Can't be mad at that. Progress is progress. So Wednesday was bench day, and that went very, very well as well. I hit two separate singles with 330 pounds. The second rep, you see my butt lifting off the bench a little bit, but that was only the second rep, and it was because I didn't give myself much rest time. Whereas in a meet, you actually have a lot of rest time in between lifts. Um... 330 pounds is actually going to be my second attempt. My opener is with 315. So that's pretty cool. I know my second attempt is in the bag. For overload work, I did 355 pounds with the slingshot for a pause rep. Dan was giving me the full-on competition commands with that as well. And then for extra overload, I did 370 pounds for a quick touch and go with the slingshot. I don't count it as anything serious because it was with the slingshot, but technically it is the most weight I've ever had on the bench press, so that was kind of cool. And Friday concluded our very successful week with my third and final very successful workout, just straight deadlifts. I hit 515 pounds for two reps. The second rep went up just as fast as the first rep, pretty much. You can see that the bar catches on my legs a little bit, so I'm actually going to buy baby powder to put on my thighs so the bar can slide when I'm actually at the meet. And I actually went for a third rep, and it started going up very fast and smooth, but I felt my form crack, I felt my back start to round, and um, I did not want to risk an injury two weeks out, so I just let go of the bar. Better be safe than sorry, but very successful. So for the openers, you'll be seeing them all soon. It'll possibly be the next video uploaded I'm not sure depending on what time I upload this video but I'll be opening with uh, a 430 pound squat I'll be opening with a 315 pound bench and a 500 pound deadlift my second attempts will be a 365 pound squat a 330 pound paused bench and then a 530 pound deadlift basically the way I look at it is open up with a with a weight you can do for about three reps regularly and then make your second attempt, the opener obviously just gets you on your name on the board, and then uh, second attempt is going to be what I know my current one rep max is. Like the last time I PR'd in the lift, 
I'm going to go with that weight because I know I have it in the bag. Um, and it's obviously a high enough number where it'll help my total. And then the third attempt for each movement is going to be a new PR. And that will be basically determined after my second attempt once I uh, feel out how strong I am. You know, So for example, on squats, I'm looking to finish with a 475, 485 squat. You know, if that 465 second attempt squat flies right up, we'll go right to 485. If it felt slower, felt heavier, you know, we might be doing 470, 475, depending on how you feel. Benching, obviously I've done the 330, paused. So I'm going to do that for my second uh, attempt. Maybe even 335. Again, we'll see how I'm feeling the day of the actual meet. And then finishing that up, I will uh, we'll either go for like a 345, Possibly a 350 pause bench. You know, 350 is the ideal we're aiming for. And then for deadlifts, deadlifts are tricky because deadlifts are an exercise I think I could really turn into one of my elite lifts. I always had a lot of potential with my deadlifts. When I was 16, I was repping out 475. First time I pulled 500 pounds, I only weighed 170 pounds body weight. And that was only after deadlifting once every two weeks, you know, bodybuilding, Jay Cutler style. I wasn't even strength training and I was using horrible form. Then obviously I got injured in 2012. And when I finally came back to deadlifting in 2013, I did come back to conventional, used it for a little bit, but never went really super heavy in it. Never went above 500 with it. And then I uh, switched to sumos for a long time. You guys remember that? I tried making sumos work. They didn't work. Finally came back, talked to a lot of knowledgeable people, corrected my form, corrected my deadlift technique, and really applied a lot of corrections to my deadlift in general, optimizing it. And I've only been back on these uh, con conventional deadlifts since August. And since August, made a lot of progress. Went from a 500 pound max to repping out for two reps to 520 to repping out 515 for a couple of reps just the other day. So talking to a few different people, you know, we're, we're looking at hopefully like a mid 500s pull at my best for this meet, you know, anywhere from 540 to 550, you know, if, if, if say 530 flies right up, I'm feeling great, you know, you never even know, maybe a 555, 560 is in the bag, but we're going to figure it out. That's why I said I, I'm going to go totally by feeling on the day of because my deadlift is something I feel like has a lot of potential that I'm not tapping into yet and I could surprise myself today at the actual meet. If I just get rid of this fear that I always have that kind of holds me back a little bit with the deadlifts. Um, so that's the plan. As far as my total goes, obviously still still aiming for that 1,400 pound total. It's going to be just like the 500 pound squat. You know, I'm going to aim for it. I'm going to work hard for it. I'm going to do everything I can to achieve it. And if I can nail that 1,400 pound total, I will be ecstatic. You know, and even if I fall short, I'm not going to get down or discouraged because I know I will get at least as close as I possibly can to it. Um, upon applying myself so you know 1400 pounds in total and the, the, the game plan is basically just to get as close as I can to that number for my total uh, as far as the results go for this meet as far as placing and everything goes you know obviously I love to place and I would love to do well that'd be great and I was looking at um, some of the results from past meets in this area the, the New England the New England region of the USAPL it's all by the same promoter and some of the 181ers, honestly, I could do very well against them. I was looking at some of the numbers in there, and I could, I could do very well. Being a local meet, you never even know. I could come out on top. But I'm also, you know, brand new in a powerlifting. I've only been powerlifting for like eight, nine months. And I know there's a lot of strong-ass 181ers out there. So if I get a dude like Johnny Candido or Connor Lutz, or God forbid, like a Brett Gibbs coming into this meet, obviously I'm going to get stopped. <laughs> So when it comes to the placing, you know, hope for the best. It'd be cool to place and do really well. Obviously, that's always fun. Uh, but I just, you have, I have no concept of what to expect as far as who's going to be competing in my weight class that day. Yeah, it could be kids around my strength neighborhood, or it could be kids way stronger than me. And if I get dudes like Johnny Candido's in there, I might not even place. So the main thing that I'm focusing on for this meet is simply just to perform at my best. I can't control who comes into the meet. A lot of strong-ass seasoned dudes in my weight class. So what I will consider a success is if I can simply come in feeling very strong that day and lift at my absolute best. Bring the best performance I possibly have. As long as I leave uh, the platform feeling like I didn't do anything to mess anything up, feeling like I could have possibly had a little more in me, as long as I'm not kicking myself for anything that I could have done better or could have fixed or could have avoided, you know, if I just feel very satisfied with all of my lifts, like, yes, that went well, I'm happy with that, that's a success for me. Just going to go in there, bring my best, try to bang out my best numbers, strive for that 1,400-pound total, and whatever place that gets me along the way, hell yeah, we'll ride with it. So just wanted to update you guys a little bit. on um, That is the end of peak week. We're done training 
for this meet. The next two weeks will pretty much be deloading. This coming week, you've, you're you probably about to see the footage anyway. By the time you're seeing this video, it's already been done. Um, this week, we'll be just practicing my openers. I'll be doing squats Monday, bench Wednesday, uh, deadlifts Friday, instead of doing them all on the same day. And that's just because I want to keep myself active throughout the entire week. If I do them all on the same day, I'll have nothing to do all week long. And then the week after that will be just pretty much resting. I'll probably do some very light, I'm talking like 50% of my max light stuff for like three rep sets. Like nothing exerting whatsoever. Because you guys all know I can't take a week off. I, I've discussed it with my longtime subscribers plenty of times. I've tried taking deload weeks off. I come back after a week and I'm weak and I'm awkward and I'm sore and it's like I gotta shake the cobwebs off. So a week off for Nick never works well for me. <laughs> anyway, that is the, I just want to get update you guys on the plans on where we're at, what we've wrapped up, what we're about to embark on, and uh, basically my mindset going into this meet. Really, really, really excited for it. Cannot wait to lift. November 22nd, 2014 in Rockland, Massachusetts. It's at the Holiday Inn in Rockland, Mass. If you guys want to come, it's on a Saturday. I believe it's about 10 bucks to get in. I think the lifting starts at like 10 p.m. or something like that. Yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. I really do appreciate it.